Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Joey Nelson. Thank you. Give it up for Jared, everybody. Doesn't he look like, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Belding and uh, Mr. Clean got together, right? It's a wild night of passion with lube and pine saw. <laughs> Starting off. Okay. Uh, my name is Joey Nelson. I work at a place called Location Insight. We just moved places. Um, uh, I'm a project manager there. Uh, just a quick shout, not clapping, a quick shout. Who works at a small company or a startup? Yeah! Who works at all? Yes, exactly. And who's ever moved, ever? Okay, I think that's everybody, right? So everybody is the audience, perfect. Um, we do stuff like location pages, like this for, Ch for Chase, um, uh, Bank of America, things like that, everything on the page. We moved just recently, like 12 blocks, okay, not across the country. It's like 30 of us with some desks and things like that. As the crow flies, it takes like six minutes. It's nothing. It brings us to the first fail. Fail that we did, and I've seen other companies do. Bragging. Okay? Pride before the fall, guys. All right? Can you imagine you're moving into a new spot? Things are going to be good. You want to show off a little bit, okay? Show your fat stacks. You, you want to say, hey, I, I, I'm kind of better than you guys. All right? But it's not like that. It's best just to keep it classy. Okay, uh, we broke off from a company called Info Now, a much bigger company, and they were none too pleased. We kind of were walking around, you know, thinking we had the things going on. Y you you want to kind of keep it classy, like the Jeffersons, okay? They were the model, right? In fact, we called our first sprint when we moved to the, next, the first spot, uh, the, the new place, the Jeffersons. So it was very apt, you know, kind of a ceremony for us. Um, fail two, we don't need insurance. No, 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 I mean, maybe like, you know, uh, uh, renter's insurance, right? That makes sense if we're moving into a place where we're renting. We don't need, like, business insurance. Yes, you do. You need insurance. Um, my girlfriend's company, they just moved. They couldn't get into their new spot because they didn't have insurance. Okay? So you got to think about this kind of stuff. It's not like moving your house. Okay, now we're all moved in. It looks great. Okay? But if you're going to move and you're going to move, like, 60 people, you got to think about it. Okay? Uh, fail number three, moving like a boss. You gotta think about a lot of different stuff here, all right? You can't just pack up all your stuff on your truck, like some notable examples, okay? You gotta think about all the logistics. Uh, we had problems moving our, um, our customer service from one spot to another, our FTP service, things like that. I love this because everybody knows customer service all comes out of Norway, right? <laughs> all of it. Easy to understand. Um, you also wanna think about internet, bandwidth, things like that. This isn't like moving yourself down the street, okay? Where you can like leave half of your shit in the apartment, right? With like bongs and things on the ground. No, 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 it's not like that at all, okay? So you wanna think ahead a little bit, okay? You wanna pick a good mover, all right? Not your friends and some pizza and beer. You kinda wanna hire a good company. This is a great example, all right? Again, this was not a catastrophic move for us, but it did have real impacts. And if we ever had to do it again, which I don't think so, we think about it differently. Fail number four, boundaries. Okay, know your boundaries, which is different. Louder? Boundaries. boundaries, thank you. Yes. You can read, perfect. <laughs> know your boundaries, like who to shoot at and not when you're, when you're having nerf fights, okay? We didn't get this in the new spot. All right, so I was just shooting everybody. It turns out uh, when someone's on the phone or unarmed women, not a good person to shoot. They get kind of perturbed about that. Also, know where your employees can go and not go. Few people know I can get on the roof, <laughs> which is good. But not, not too good for liability insurance, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I imagine. Field number five, no kegerator. No kegerator. See, we have a lot of people on the wagon, I guess. Um, no kegerator. Can you, can you guys just imagine? I mean, just remember your last Christmas? No. Yeah. Your last big Christmas where there's a lot of presents under the tree and how excited you were for that? Can you imagine if you went down there and there were no presents? Okay. If you're not going to have a kegerator, don't promise a kegerator. It was a huge letdown. We still drink, though, right, Travis? Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when you're emerging from the mines, we still have a beer, just not out of a keg, so it's okay. Learn these five things. My name is Joey 
Please come talk to me afterwards. Let's have a beer. Thank you, guys.